836 all morning. We've been checking in with swimmers at the 37th annual Black History Invitational Swim Meet. Uh, this is such an incredible long time tradition. Our Katie Lesto has been live all morning at the Tacoma Aquatic Center. Swimmers, they have uh, been preparing for this day for quite some time. We heard from some of them earlier. Uh, and Katie, if you're looking for something to do today, this is a great way to support them and, and come out and watch the swimmers. It certainly is. They're going to be swimming all day long. It's also streaming online on the DC Parks website. And speaking of DC Parks, I want to introduce you and bring in the director for DC Parks, Thene Freeman. Thank you so much for being here with us this morning. And I know you're having a blast watching. I've been watching you take in the swimming and the events. What is this like to see this happening? So this is beautiful. Um, this is the 37th annual. It was actually started by Mayor Marion Barry because at the time, African American swimmers could not, would not be invited to the meets. So he was like, we'll build our own. And so if you see today the manifestation of that, 37 events later, um, over a thousand young people from Florida, California, Texas, all over and locally. So it is just magnanimous to see. And I know a lot of these swimmers have been telling us they train for this event so seriously. This is such a fun time, but it's it's a pretty serious event. They take it seriously. What are, what are your thoughts on all that? Absolutely. They're athletes and swimmers are very interesting athletes. They love the water, they get in the water. If you see over there, they're in there getting their warm ups in, right? And so it's a test of, they compete against themselves and they're constantly trying to beat themselves and I love to see it. I know we talked about the importance, but what is your favorite part of this event and, and being here? Why is it so important to you to be here? Young people swimming, especially um, young African-Americans um, where nationally there's in the recreation industry there's a outreach to get more African-American youth connected to the pools and to bring them here and to bring them in it and then to see here in DC what we do so effortlessly it really feels good and it looks good. Thank you so much and thank you for talking with us we're gonna be out here for quite a bit watching these swimmers take on all the action they're having a blast at the same time they're working hard but they're having fun if you want to see more, just head over to WSA9.com. We are at the DC Aquatic Center. We'll send it back to you, Marcella. We appreciate all the updates, Katie. Uh, this is such a, an amazing event. I'm sure a lot of people will be out there to support. Thank you.